we've been talking about the latest revelations about uh, the NSA, what they're up to from Snowden, saying that mass surveillance was only phase zero. Phase three is total dominance, total control, offensive attacks, taking down infrastructure. That's real war, folks. That's not just spying on people and taking them to court because you're misconstruing what they're saying online. That is something we should all be very concerned about. And, of course, we also have some other articles up at Infowars.com. One of them, we had uh, some interesting comments from Liam Neeson, somebody who makes his living uh, with guns on the screen, showing himself uh, taking vengeance as a vigilante. And, of course, his latest uh, movie, Taken 3, which is, I think, if you look at an internet uh, movie database, imdb.com, it's got the lowest ratings of any movie that is currently in the, in the theaters right now, the lowest critical ratings. After his remarks about how every week we're picking up a newspaper and seeing yet another few kids have been killed in schools, essentially blaming the shootings in Paris on America's Second Amendment. We have an article up on Infowars.com. Firearms manufacturer says that they regret providing guns for his latest movie, Taken 3, after his anti-gun remarks. This is a company called Para USA. They put on their Facebook page, they regret their decision to provide firearms for the use in the film, asserting that the actor's statements undermined support of the Second Amendment as well as American liberties. So how could you look at a situation like this where somebody is able to go through and shoot the town up because nobody in France has guns? Why would you draw the conclusion that therefore we ought to get rid of our guns and become like France? When only the government has guns, then basically you have paved the way for a government tyranny and you've made it possible that only the criminals are going to have guns. It certainly didn't stop these guys who shot up uh, Paris to have gun control in France. It just assured that there wasn't going to be any honest person there who could stand up and stop it until the police got there, or at least delay what was happening. And, of course, the law-abiding citizens are going to be made criminals if they try to protect themselves. You are watching the best of The Alex Jones Show, weekdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Watch live at InfoWars.com forward slash show or become a member of InfoWarsNews.com and help us take resistance to the next level.